classes together. And uh, Jose Ruiz of Spain, who is the world rank number four in class 10. So he's one class above. Both had disappointing singles, though, didn't they? In terms of uh, Marlin was a strong favourite going in to try and claim goal, but surprisingly lost in the quarter final to Kalem of Italy. Yeah, I mean, the man who was the defending champion, gold in London, silver in Beijing. And of course, uh, team golds the last two times out. So he's looking for a hat trick of team golds. And uh, Ruiz, who was ninth in the first round, to Lian Hiao, who we've already seen uh, in the doubles. Yeah, failed to get out of his uh, his group. Two out of the three matches, and again as the world number four. That was a bit of an upset as well. That they have found their form in the team format. Both players with plenty of Paralympic experience, though. And with three golds before and heading into Rio. And Ruiz also has a couple of silvers and a couple of bronzes to his name, too. It should be a really interesting match, this one. And just remind it's a must win for Spain, and that's some way to start for Ruiz. Yeah, my. Desperate to get onto his forehand, but it leaves the other side of the table wide open. Because we usually talk about head to heads, but these two uh, haven't often met each other because of uh, the fact that they're in different classes. So it'll be an interesting matchup between the two of them. Is there a lot of difference in the world ranked number one in class nine and the world ranked number four in class ten? I think it'll be competitive. And this time getting round on the forehand again and into the body of where is Excellent from the Chinese athlete, 30, uh, 26 years of age, 38 Ruiz. So a little bit of a difference in ages and experience, I suppose. Oh, <laughs> what a luck. Bit of luck that is. Well, always aim for the end of the table. They have actually met each other five times before in total. This meeting was in 2014 at the World Championships. Their last meeting in the last six years. That's why they haven't come across each other too often because of the, yeah, the different classes. It's uh, Ma Lin, though, who leads the head to head 4 1. Winning that last encounter in four games at the 2014 World Championships. So they've played each other in, a, in another big competition. They met as well four years ago at another World Championships and then in 2008 as well, they met at the Paralympic Games. So it's their second match in a Paralympic Games encounter. And uh, that one went the distance to five. And again, it was Marlin who won. So looking good, Marlin. That was an excellent exchange and really lovely cross table shot from Mark. All the exchanges right now, isn't it? Yeah. We've seen this happen before. We saw it happen in the doubles. Ruiz just went off the boil a little and then went on a, a long run. Couldn't get it up and back down again. And the Chinese athlete is human after all. Superhuman effort to race into a 7 2 lead. They have to serve as well. He's looking very good, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, not doing enough with the return there, though, Ruiz. Just trying to dink it short, but too much height on the ball. Well, he'll be thinking, you know, don't, don't go for broke straight away. Let's get into a, into an exchange. Let's see if I can manoeuvre the point around a bit. It's important that Ruiz just finishes this game as strong as he can because at the moment it's so one-sided and he doesn't want to give... Marlin, all the momentum to take into the next game. Three minutes gone. Eight game points. Just ticked over to four, by the way. But uh, still pretty quick work from Marlin. Oh, great change from Mark. And his little dinks over the net, just waiting for the opportunity to score the winner and he does and he takes 
a very quick and one-sided first game in this match. can Roos do here? Was on the end of a bit of a thrashing in that first game. And that's a good start. The beauty of uh, table tennis scoring, of course, you can just reset. You've been outplayed for the first four or five minutes. It's level pegging again. He started as if he's completely forgotten what went on in that first game. from Mark. Someone had to blink eventually. Not about it though. Ruiz looks like a completely different player already in this second game. Making Mar work a lot harder, although just read the flight of the final ball. Oh, oh yes. yes. <laughs> well, what a shot that was. And if you're Ruiz, you just think, what else can I do? I battered him the point before and he won it. And then try to play a, a quick game and lose that as well. So far, all points going on serve in this second game. against her. It's not quiet on that table at the moment. Just at the top of the net. Went long. There goes the clapping again. I think that's very disrespectful. And that card goes out. Oh, I didn't think he's going to be told to stop that. It's a way of stopping momentum, isn't it? No, I think the yellow card has been given to the coach to uh, show surely gets another warning and he'll have to disappear. It's a little more muted applause at this point. <laughs>
cat and mouse going on, isn't there? Because that was a, from the Spanish camp, that late clap. That's a bit like being in the school assembly, isn't it? Whoever's going to clap that yeah. gets your, your peers brownie points. Anyway, it's got a bit quiet here because the uh, other match has finished. This is the last match, uh, potentially the last match, so the last tie up between the nations that we will have in this Paralympic table tennis competition. And who will take the last gold? It almost heightens the tension, doesn't it? Yeah. All eyes. It's all it. Yeah, all a little quieter. Teammates on their feet. Oh, that's <laughs> magnificent. How quick was he to move and react there? Read the serve like a book. What a forehand that is. Come back from Maris. He's got his supporters here. Yeah. Like that, didn't they? Worked really hard and just outgunned the Chinese athlete. Celebration too, it's as if he'd scored a goal in the final of the World Cup. <laughs> he only made it eight all though, but he's clawed his way back into this second game. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. And the pendulum swings one way, then the other. It's so tough to predict. It's such a tight game this way. Who's going to win this game? And also, there's not a lot of pattern to the play. No. The players play with such variety. Oh, yes. Well, That's a lap of honour. We're well, seeing some stunning table tennis, though, aren't we? I mean, the, how quick was this rally? Now got it back beautifully, but there wasn't a lot of venom in the shot, and it was easily dispatched. 9 9. Now with the serve. Pivotal part of this match. Too hot to handle once more. And it is that big forehand that has caused so many problems for Ruiz. Game point. Well, it's a really aggressive return. Threw caution to the wind, went for the backhand, and from there got himself on the front foot. Well to deal with the first forehand, but again, probably going too big for the second. Several so alternate now, first to two clear points, of course. Possess big forehands. It's close to going long there, just inside, bouncing on the table. What a comeback! Saved again, points, and then powered his way through to make this level. What a tight tie and what a tight match this is between China and Spain.
条线斜线，啊，所以他一上手你保护好你的正手，保护杆儿点拉你。Third game then. Prevail. It was a uh, four minute 11 2 de demolition for Mar in the first one. Eight minutes 10 12 in the second. Well, it's very similar to what we saw in the doubles match. In terms of the Chinese pair kept going in front and then kept looking like they were going to go two games up. You couldn't do so. A lot of character being shown by Ruiz. Manipulated, manipulated even <laughs> from uh, Ruiz. Spin on that serve from Mark. Uh, just set up the point, didn't it? I don't think uh, Ruiz knew which way it was swerving next to play it safe with the return. And gets there in the end. Relentless ball striking from Mark. Uh, He's the world number one in the class nine for a reason. Yeah, and with the uh, the living impairment, a slightly different way of lining up for the smashes. You see the uh, front foot do, doing a lot of uh, work as well, and uh, hugely accurate. Still though, we are yet to see a point against serve in this third game. To say psychologically, Ruiz has been so good because so often he's gone behind, but he's not been affected by it. Played each point as it comes. Another point to serve. Novak Djokovic in, uh, in tennis always talks about staying in the present, staying in the moment, affecting what you can affect. And uh, Ruiz has done a really good job there because there's been a couple of occasions where he thought. His head might drop here, he's being outplayed. It's so much, and that's why they are the top athletes. It's much easier said than done, isn't it? Oh, he had a chance there, though, and he knows it. Nice chance, really, that he's had on the mass serve in this game. This is a bit more like a tennis match where a drop of uh, a point on the serve is important. This is why it's so impressive from Ruiz, because each time he goes two points down, you think, well, he's got to be so careful here. If he loses one point, it's a three-point game, but he keeps bringing his best table tennis. And that's a bit of a gift from Mark. A nice variation from Ruiz on the serve. First point again serve, and it goes to the Spaniard. Oh, that was 
was one heck of a shot across the table. Seven, seven. Another really tight game. After the breeze that was the first for the Chinese athlete. It's the second time he's missed that ball in a row. In the Ruiz serve. He likes that serve, doesn't he? You like it even more having seen what's just happened. Uh, that's excellent hitting. And he wins uh, the point back that he'd lost against serve. Just a flip of a coin, isn't it, right now? Strange first game, it was heavily one-sided. Ruiz only picked up two points. And since then, barely split these two. Oh, oh yes. So well done. He just took it so early here, took all the time away from his opponent. Just nudging it up the line. Great return from Ruiz. It was too easy, wasn't it? Just uh, prodded from Marlin. And uh, what you say, too easy. All the time to get that forehand away. Well, deja vu, 9-9. Somebody has to get a game point here. Yeah, he goes back to his favourite serve. And Ma was far too conservative with the return. Brought it back and plenty of time for Ruiz yet again to wind up on that forehand wing. Game point then. Yeah! And he's done it. And he's really pumped up, isn't he? And then why not? He takes the lead in this first singles match. Well then, what a comeback for Ru uh, Ruiz, who was, well, dismantled in game one, but has come back in the next two. Has to win this, of course, to keep Spain in this gold medal match. And he's doing a good job so far. Yeah! He's been clinical on surf. Mixed it up very well. We do wonder when the timeout will be called for Ma. More points than his opponent, but finds himself two games to one down. And now two love doubt. Remember winning that first game 11 2. The next two he lost by just two points. This 
is beginning to get away rather quickly from Mark. So he had that surprise loss in the singles, didn't he? It was upset in the quarterfinals. Is he going to be upset again here? He's beaten four in the last five times. That was better. We've seen how good he can be, and how dominant he can be, but Ruiz has just found a way to get back into this match. And those are the shots he, were, he was hitting in that first game. More than halfway to uh, what was it four minutes he wrapped that one up this is already almost three minutes and the timeout has been called Timeout. That's a good start as any. Oh, and that's a brilliant forehand as well. Such quick hands, such quick positioning as well. Pushing it long. I have a feeling that if Marlin just take this to the uh, fifth game, then he's got every chance in the world, but that's a big putt. And those are the sort of shots he was landing not so long ago. I think Ruiz knows that Mara is going to try and tee off and try and go big with the forehand, and it was just intelligent play from the Spaniard. He doesn't want to play the backhand, so it's rolling the ball inside out, cross court, wider and wider and more uncomfortable. And there's a rare error from Ruiz. Cheap points, given Mark so little in this encounter. And then, of course, in that first game. A little look at the uh, battle of Jose Ruiz. And two lines from Mark. And uh, in the end, it was a sloppy shot. Be a long way back from here. Two good serves from Ruiz, who's been serving really well the last couple of games and a half. He's now five up. Oh, has to win at least one of these points. And he does. That's the first one. Okay. Grab the second. Long. Set the point up. He's looking out of sorts, isn't he? The body language isn't great. It's a decent return. Ruiz just going to roll it inside out into that backhand area. 
Gone that way again, but it has a lot of height, not a lot of spin, and not a lot of speed on the ball from Ruiz. To say, if you're a Chinese fan, you're probably holding your breath, aren't you? Every time you see this man wind up on the forehand side, <laughs> yes, you don't quite know where it's going to go. A bit more relaxing in the first game. It hasn't been quite so since then, but oh. that's another good one. He really found the table, though, didn't it? Ruiz's return. down a little, haven't they, in the, in the last five or ten minutes or so, the Chinese fans. Well, the Spaniards get involved. Jose, the chance. <laughs> oh, yes. Now, that is more like Marlin. Again, devastating forehands. Look how far wide he is there. Great movement here. Leaps into the ball and puts everything behind it. It's his favoured serve at the moment. And it sets him up for that forehand. Ma is looking at the, uh, the bat by it was just a good point for Ruiz. Tom Mars served though. He's got two points on his serve. And here we are but, again at 9-9. But, exactly, <laughs> every other time we've been at 9-9, it's been the Spaniard who's won it. He's won the bigger points in this match. Is he going to do so again? And can Mar get over the line in this third game, the fourth game and take us to a decider? It was a real game of cat and mouse, but it's one that Ma wins. We've been here before as well, with him having a game point in the last... Uh, it was in the second se game. In the second wasn't game, wasn't it? Yeah. It was 10-12. It was 11-9 in the last game, but he's got a chance here. Oh, my <laughs> words! What a response! He seems to raise his game every time. It gets close, Ruiz. Such belief in his ability. We talked about him going cross court and into that backhand side time and time again, switching it up at game point down. Oh, he's oh, overcooked it. Missed it. He played the point brilliantly up until that shot. And, uh, well, ground on date. done it he has done it match point only needed the one and Spain level this gold medal tie at one match apiece would you believe it I mean, what a performance from Ruiz when you talk about matches remember Mar won more points in that game and in that match or I should say it loses out by three games to one all the big points were won by Ruiz. He was able to raise his game when it mattered the most. And Ma is beaten for just the second time in six meetings with Ruiz. And this one's going the distance.